I would like to share with you how to turn this into this. Yeah, I'll try to restore these headlights. Don't tell my vibe I'm doing this in the bathtub. And what I'm gonna use is the razor blade, the sandpapers of different grit, 400, 600, and there is a set of uh, 1000 to 3000. And then for the final finish, uh, I'm gonna use this polishing pad kit. And there is also this third of wax compound, light to medium cleaner after all this. So first thing I wanna do is to use the razor blade to take the deep scratches and uh, any other imperfections from the surface. Just want to make sure I'm not using the blade perpendicular, not not like this, but under the angle like that, or the other way. So now the biggest dirt from the lens, even from a little bit deeper inside of the material, should be gone. It's time for 400 grit and a piece of wood to apply uniform pressure. I miss this spot on the bottom here. So this is how it looks like after I applied 400 grit on it. One thousand. Let's go. So as you switch to one thousand grit, you can actually start peeling, and actually you can also hear that it's way smoother. It goes uh, like a like a knife through uh, war hot butter. Very easy and smooth. You can feel and you can hear hear the difference as well between 600 and 1000 it's way different surface now and I don't do moves like these only or up and down only but circular moves I believe that's the best way this way you actually are walks in your car as well. So 1000 grit it's done. It's getting better. Okay, time to 1500. 1500 paper sanding done. So now it looks way way better. So there's 2000 and 3000 coming up. 2000, here we go. As you can see, the water doesn't want to stay here, it's just running away. So that's 2000. It's pretty smooth actually. Here comes 3000. So and this is how it looks like after 3000 sandpaper grid. So I'm gonna use the Tartal Lux light to medium cleaner. It has to be applied for 
on a dry surface so I'm going to wipe this water residue off of the lens. So since I'm going to be using this turtle wax and it says uh, may irritate eyes, it may probably irritate your skin so I'm going to use gloves. And I also move into my basement so uh, these little chunks from this uh, wax uh, won't be in my bathtub. And sometimes I do things which uh, don't hurt and using masking tape never hurts. And it's time for our compound. Once this is done, I'm gonna just lightly buff it before it dries. It will be visible on the camera as well. Like it's pretty, pretty shiny. It's pretty clean. I have a couple spots here and there to just get rid of the turtle box, but uh, it looks like new. It has a uh, deep cracks at some spots here, but it's a very old light. It's 20 years old. And just to make sure every single dirt particles are out of here, I clean it with a cleaner. Wipe it off. You can use alcohol. Make sure it's nice and clean, nice and dry. And then I'm gonna use the microfiber towel. And get rid of every single dirt, I believe. I'm getting ready for the clear coat. I was looking for the clear coat product and I just trusted those reviews on the internet so I uh, bought this product and the direction says uh, shake it for two minutes, apply the hardener and uh, shake it for another two minutes and then uh, apply the coat like 10 inches away from the surface. I'm gonna use three coats so hopefully this bottle will be enough for my two lenses or headlamps. I will wait 15, 10 to 15 minutes between each uh, coat. So after two minutes of shaking, you just take this hardener out of this place, put it here upside down on this kind of like a nozzle and deploy. Harder is applied, so now I have to shake the bottle for another two minutes. I give it more than two minutes, uh, so it's properly mixed. And now, it's time to apply uh, the first coat. Yeah, but before I do that, I'll uh, give it a try on the piece of paper or something. So uh, we'll see if it's working properly. It's pretty nasty smell, so it's supposed to work in a very well uh, ventilated area but since there is minus 20 outside there I'm working on it uh, in my basement so I open all of my windows here so 15 minutes later I'm back and I will position my headlamp like this so I can apply the cold from top to bottom, not from the side. And before the second coat, I will shake it again. Okay, shaking is done. So let's do it. Okay, time to apply the last third coat. Mm. 
All right. There are little imperfections, just mainly because of the dust. So I don't know how those other guys uh, were happy with the results when they did everything outside. But you can see here, there's little particles here and there, because the air isn't like a hospital clean. There's a little crack here. I was hoping that the clear coat is gonna cover it up, but it's it's better than it was. But I will not uh, worry about the dust uh, too much. I let it dry, I let it harden, and then uh, I'll buff it up again. Yeah, so far so good. If it's gonna stay like that, I'll be super happy. Like it's a huge difference between before and after. And this is uh, how the second headlamp, headlamp looks like. It's a little bit in a better condition, but overall it's pretty shiny now. You can see the kind of like a little cloud of something not really shiny, but it's a really deep imperfections in that cover. So uh, you won't be able to get rid of it, but for the most part, the headlight's gonna look way better. The headlights are back in the place where they're supposed to be. And uh, they look just awesome. They look like brand new. Love it. Just love it.